Alright y'all, we're back. We're sitting here now with Carolina Music Lab's very own Charles Mack, aka Macaroni. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you heard his voice. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? He's like, yeah. See, dude, I'm, let me first start, by, start off by telling you. If I had your voice, you hear me, America. If I had his voice, there'd be a lot of single men out here. I'm just saying. Very single. Well, there'd be a lot of CDs. That yeah, exactly. <laughs> that leads me to my point. With your voice, your talent level, your skill level, how many CDs of yours do you want to be in households? That's a real good, honest question. How many CDs you want sold in your lifetime? Minimum is one. Gotta have at least one of them up in there. I heard uh, that. That's honesty. You know, some kids gotta have theirs in their room. Parents gotta have this down there because I plan on having a message for all different ages. So right. at least the minimum of one, then we move on from there. Okay. Let's we'll see. That's, that's honesty. Because, you know, you got a lot of cats that come out, oh, yeah, I'm trying to go platinum and don't have a platinum sound. You know? Platinum means you have a platinum sound. means you're marketable enough to reach platinum status. All right? That's big. So... Tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Just just clue the public in on who you are, where you're from, all right? Yeah. Well, um, I'm originally from the D.C. area. Came down here about five years ago and joined the QC. Understand and know that, yes, indeed, D.C. was where I came from, but QC is home. Uh, pretty much it's not where you're from. As we all heard, it's where you're at. And where I'm at right now is where I get all the love and support. So please understand and know that QC is where I get love and where I give love back. Pretty much me, I grew up in the church, yes indeed. So uh, I can tell you I'm the son of a preacher, all that good stuff like that. So I know what I need to do is right. But uh, please understand and know as I grow up and become my own man, um, <laughs> things have to be done so that money can be made, community can be edified, and people can get together. Because I call myself a messenger of love. If you listen to the tracks on my CD, you'll understand that it's all about community and love and then the individual love that has to happen between you and a woman. So community can be made. So, in essence, it's all about being loved. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, you heard what he said. He's originally from Chocolate City. Yes. But resides in the Queen City now, where we show him all the love we can already. I've heard you perform. I think you're fantastic. Appreciate um, There's a very specific track that him and Tamika do together that I guarantee it's going to blow your socks off, but we'll get to that later on. Oh, I got to get love to Tamika on For that sure. one because she wrote... 95, 96 percent of that herself. I mean, all the lyrics there were hers, and then I just added my little four, sure. five percent. But you know, to me, there's much love on that one. Then that brings me to a point with you. Gotcha. The honesty level, I can feel it coming off of. Yes. You know, you just you're like, I'm not gonna take credit for anything that I didn't give my hundred percent to, and I'm not gonna allow anybody around me to take credit for something they didn't give their hundred percent to. That's the option. I mean, that not the option. That's the vibe I get from you. So, when it comes down to honesty and your music. Is it either or? Well, for me, basically, your work is going to speak for itself. Okay. And if you haven't had your stamp of approval on it, there's no need that you put your name on it. And somewhere down the line, either you're going to outlive a lie or the lie is going to outlive you. <laughs> and if it does <laughs> that way, you're going to be sure. <laughs> Hold on, talk about, talk about. Church. Say that one more time. <laughs> either you're going to do what? Either you're going to outlive a lie or a lie is out going, going to outlive you. Hey, exactly. Pay attention, America. You heard what he said. Seriously. Lying kiss up to you. The truth shall always be told. So, well, me being a representative of uh, Sky Mind Entertainment, you know, and you being a representative of uh, Carolina Music Lab, how much do you think it's going to take for independent artists to get together and regain control of the music system that has gone so horribly wrong, in my opinion? Well, I mean, basically, it's a change of mindset. Because a lot of people have been brought up on, I got to get mine, I'm not really worried about yours. And if you really look at how things have been set by areas that have made it when their independent artists have gotten up there, like, let's look at Atlanta. For a while, you know, you may have said, like, everybody tried to do their own thing. But when Atlanta blew up, that's because everybody got that mentality. If this person's going to make it, I'm going to support them. And then, in turn, I'm going to get that trickle-down effect that's going to happen for me. Exactly. Get rid of the hater rate. Get rid of, rid of all the stuff that takes community away. Let the artists work together. Then, next thing you know, you know what? Same thing that happened in Atlanta can happen in Charlotte. Exactly. And people start looking at it like this is a hub as well. And when somebody actually makes it, you don't try to say that's you by yourself. You go ahead and say, here's the next one, come on up. Here's the next one, come on up. And even if for some reason you're short-lived, somebody's going to remember and say, like, that person did this for me. So your name will always stay there. You have a legacy. Gotcha. So you're a pay-it-forward community kind of guy. Definitely. There's nothing wrong with that. See, that's, I think that's a big portion of what's missing in the game and society as a whole, period. That 
everyone is out for self nowadays. It's like, okay, well, if I can sell this many records, if I can gain this much of buzz, but the incorrect portion of their statement is I, I, I. Because no artist, no artist makes it to the next level without a production company, a street team, family, and a family of other artists that support them as well, right? It's just like you said what happened in Atlanta. One pop, two pop, the next thing you know, different areas of the entire Atlanta greater viewing area popped off. Okay, so that's what you're saying needs to happen right here in Charlotte? Definitely. I mean, everybody has that idea. They were told, you know, there's no I in team, but I also understand there's no I in success either. Exactly. Time out. Wait, 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 wait. Let me slide my chair a little bit closer. <laughs> I'm feeling enlightened. I'm Charles Mack, a.k.a. Macaroni. Okay? You heard what he said. Dudes don't come at me calling me Macaroni. Yeah, exactly. Don't do that. Because he's bigger than you, bigger than me. I'm I'm kind of trembling. I'm scared. I'm sitting in my seat. Now I'm just messing with you. Gotcha, gotcha. But there is no I in team, and there is no I in success either. That is a great message. I mean, do you portray that message in your, in your music? Well, I mean, basically because I know I'm where I am because of a bunch of influences and people helping me out. Yes, there's a grind, and I do my own. But I know in getting to where I am, I had help. And also to be sustained, I need to help others because the root system I want to put out there pretty much is going to be supported by what I do, but also by those who help me and how I help others. Okay. So we're all connected one way or the other. So sure. the best thing to do is don't live on an island of you, live in a community of all. Okay, well, I grew up playing sports, and the only people I know that live on islands are cornerbacks. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Unless your name is Revis... You can't afford to be on an island somewhere, mm. okay? So, that being said, when you're in the studio, or the lab, so to speak, all right? A lot of music. What motivates your sound? What motivates you to go hard on every track? Well, it's basically, I try to see the end result from the very beginning, because you can hear a track, you can have your lyrics written out, and then when you put the two together, you see how some things don't always go the way you plan, but the biggest thing is no matter what, you know how you want your product to end out. So somebody told me back in the day, and this is how I'm going to apply it another way. If you want somebody to read something at your funeral and have a big old story, let them start from there and you go ahead and do everything that leads up to it. So the same thing inside the studio for me. If I want it to be great, I see the success, I put down the tracks of what I got to, then I go along the way to make it happen. Because I love, believe me, I love seeing stuff come together. And yes, you start at the beginning, but no matter what, I want to go ahead and get to that final point. So basically... You're a guy that believes in formulas. Definitely. Formulas. And formulas, you know, usually you plug into equations, which helps you solve problems. Right. Okay. Now, this gets me to my next question. You know we know Hose Bar right here That's on the right. Rooftop Sessions, all right? So, what is it like for you being an artist and you're married? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Well, married. But at the same time, we're going to get to the next question after that, which is, that's why I love this show, because we can be no holds barred and just straight honest. So check this out. You being married, what is it like being an artist? Definitely like you've heard before, there's got to be a balance. I mean, you still got to take care of home, regardless. Gotcha. In fact, I'm on my grind most of the time to take care of home, and like I said, community gotcha. as well. But you can't belittle the fans, you can't give, not give them what they need. Right. So you do whatever you can do to make sure that home is going to be taken care of. You took care of the responsibilities there so that you get support from home, actually. So then no matter what you have to do out there, right. there's no nobody pulling you back, nobody saying, well, why aren't you coming home doing that? That ain't going to happen. Exactly. They know that this is your means to get to that end. Exactly. So that brings me to the next point. Your spouse understanding the, the business and what you're trying to do with your career, she understands there's a certain packaging that comes with the sound that you are giving to the to the community right definitely okay so you know there's a lot of women out here that are in relationship with guys that are trying to be artists and they're like ah oh, well why don't you act like this and act like that but is it not about what sells your product the end, end of it all basically you want to get to see these sales exactly that is true but the, also the thing is you want to as i said before leave a legacy right. i don't want my name thrown in the mud just because you know everybody else did this that and the other right there's gonna be quality work that comes out of carolina music lab gotcha. there's gonna be quality work that comes from me okay so my thing is i'm go i want my product to represent me in the best light possible i'm going to do the same to represent my company my okay. family my community so there won't be no monkey suit wearing for you no okay well that's that's i mean you see a lot of that nowadays where artists say they want a certain thing oh this is where i want to be this is what i want to do but the next thing you know you see them in the Sambo suit doing what the industry tells them to do just so they can sell, you know? 
I understand some people got to do some things to make dollars. Everybody's grind is going to be their grind. But my thing behind it is integrity as well. Integrity. There's integrity in the music, and believe me, I'm not going to go hungry because there's always something with talent that will allow me to go ahead and get some money inside my household. But I'm going to stay true to the talent that's been given to me, true to my craft, and increase it as I can. All right, good. And your partner benefits from that as well, right? Definitely. Because as you succeed, y'all succeed. True. As my friend Stefan Miller said, we sick, boss. We doing good, boss. <laughs> We all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard that. But I'd like to thank you for coming out. Definitely. I appreciate you. Appreciate your honesty. It. Yes. And your, your, your creative style is, is something very fresh and something new that the game needs. Thank we you. appreciate that. Thank you. All right? Thanks for the opportunity. All right, for sure. Well, we're going to get to a performance here in just a little while. Y'all just sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. <laughs>